Oh, I do hope this works. Welcome back to the rest of Let's Play The Shivering Isles for The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Uh, I know it's been a while. I'm using a different capture software than the one I normally use. And as such, the, um... I, d I determined that the problem was with the audio. Direct feed audio. So what I'm instead doing is using capturing both the game audio and my normal commentary through my microphone at the same time. So I'm hoping this works. If this doesn't work, well, then all hope is lost. But this should work. So we right back into it. We finished both Shades of Madness, and now we're going to talk to Shagorath. experience both shades of madness. Wonderful. You seem fulfilled. Full of fill. Bursting at the seams. <gasps> Seamless. Now, to the meat of your endeavor. The crux of the situation. The reason for your being here. And the likely cause of your death. <laughs> oh god, I don't like the sound of that. You'll be stuck in the gray march. Altering the course of events. Break in the cycle! Apply in the ointment. A new cause for a different effect. We're going to change things. No! Things will be different this time around. You'll be my champion. You'll grow powerful. You'll grow to be... Me. Prince of Madness. A new Sheagorath. Or you'll die trying. I <laughs> Of course you love that about me. Why me? Because you seem a nice enough sign. And you've made it this far. And if you don't, I'll swallow your soul and vomit it into the ever-filling chamber pot of the ages. <laughs> but mostly because I asked nicely. You asked nicely, uh-huh. A fair question. You won't be. At least I don't think so. But you'll have power. My power. Try not to lose it. It's a pain to replace. But for all intents and purposes, you'll be me. A me to fight for him. Since I won't be around. It's simple, really. If you don't think about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. And where will you be? Well, not here. Didn't I say that? I'm never here when Jigalag walks. It's one of the rules. I've told you too much for now. Listen to me. Prattle on. I can see your mortal brain straining. We'll talk more later. Okay. Now, you've seen the great torch that burns brightly over Nushea. No, because it doesn't. It should, but it doesn't. You'll fix that. You'll go to Silar and bring back the flame of Agnon to relight the torch. Oh, and take care with my minions and Silar. In their eternal quest, please me. They're constantly fighting over Silar. It can be tiresome, but really, it's divine. Divinely tiresome. <laughs> well, that's your problem now. Off with you. I don't want to see you again until the Great Torch is lit. I wouldn't want to have to hurt you much. Oh, don't forget to make use of dear Haskell. Yeah, yeah. Ah, come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. How fascinating. Whoa, why is he standing? Okay, in the interest of not making it crash, I'm going to cut out as much recording time as possible, so I'm going to cut out all travel times from now on. So I will return when I am at Cylarn. And here we are at Holy Cylarn. The Sacred Fortress of the Shivering Isles, also the, uh... Okay, here's a rundown of Silon. Silon is the Sacred Sanctuary of the Siver Shivering Isles. It is... What? Oh, yeah. It is divided between Mania, Dementia, Golden Saints, Dark Seducers. They are fighting over it. You have to help one side. I will be helping the Golden Saints because... I am Mania. Sheogorath's blessings upon you. Shut up. Halt! Mortals are not permitted within the walls of Holy Cylarn. I am. My pardon, Lord. Receive this key and with it free passage throughout the shrine of the Flame of Agnon. Yay. I need to light the Flame of Agnon. Alas, we cannot light the flame until we take control of the Altar of Despair from the Infernal Maskin. 
The Armazo Kana would wish to speak to you at once. Proceed through this door to our main encampment at the Altar of Rapture. Okay. Open the door for me. Thank you. Oh, this looks interesting. My scouts reported no signs of the Maskin in the Underdeep. It's our best chance to take them unawares. Too risky. It's likely to be a trap. They could cut us to pieces down there if they knew we were coming. With all due respect, Amaz, I ask that you reconsider. The main passage is strongly defended. Perhaps if you'd allow me to scout further. Enough! I've made my decision. We will attack down the main passage as planned. The Maskin will not withstand us. Yay. So there's a few ways you can do this. Greetings, stranger. Are you here to help us drive the Maskin out of Cylon? Yes, I am. But what about this Underdeep? My scouts recently discovered another way through the ruins to the Altar of Despair. The Armasal Channel wants to assault the Altar down the main passage, but the Maskin are expecting us to come that way. They've strongly fortified the main passage against us. If we attacked through the Underdeep, we could take them by surprise. If only Janna would listen to me. An attack down the main passage will end the same as it always does. A glorious defeat. Why won't she listen? She thinks the Underdeep is a trap. It's true. If the Maskin knew we were coming that way, we wouldn't stand a chance. But I'm convinced the Maskin don't expect us to come that way. If we attacked in full force, we could take the Altar of Despair before they had a chance to react. If only I could make Kana see that. I can. For Sheagorath's glory. Now, there's a very... Oh, may I serve? Shut up. Huh? Oh, may I serve? Shut up. Okay, now you talk to the Dark Seducers. My plan is to um, get the Golden Saints to attack through the Understeep. What you can do instead is have the Golden Saints... If you want to support the Dark Seducers, you can have the... Uh, you can have the... Uh, whatchamacallits. The Dark Seducers reinforce the Underdeep, then have them attack through the Underdeep, and then you can cut them to pieces. There's a couple of different ways you can do it, actually. Doing good so far. Oh my. A mortal wandering the halls of Holy Cylarn, and a male no less. Explain yourself. Lord Sheogorath has sent me. Then I am at your service. The Grok Hedrick Ulfri commands here. You will wish to speak to her at once, no doubt. I really don't. Walk with our Lord. Go to hell. I know some of this, some of the Shivering Isles is going to seem a little rushed, but it's the only way I can record it. I'm sorry, guys, but it'll be, it'll still be good, though. It'll still be good. Yes, the main passage is strongly fortified. But the Understeep is not heavily fortified. It, it is lightly defended. There's like two guards down there, I think, something like that. Coming. That's the altar that we have to capture, by the way. Whee! And I know the game audio might not be quite as good, but you like hearing me more anyway, so. <laughs> Illusion magic has a charm spell that makes others like you more. Yes, I know, I've used it several times. Makes the speech craft, speech craft skill essentially useless. Illusion. See, this is the understeep. Note the lack of guards or any sort of fortification. The understeep is lightly defended. Hey -o. The altar of rapture will be ours. You're gonna die. So. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Ooh, that didn't sound good. So. 
Oh, God. <laughs> oh, pfft. Crazy, take the money. Take the money. Take the damn money, will you? Cylon's key. Hey, look, we're back in the Golden Saints. Where's the commander? She's right here. No, she's not. Cylon shall be ours. Hello. This is no place for a mortal. We are about to join battle against the Maskin. You'd best stand aside. You'd best shut up. My pardon, Emissary. I am at your service. We are preparing to sweep the Maskin scum from Cylon. Perhaps Shea Gorath sent you to help us. Yes, yes he did, yes he did. Only the servants of Shea Gorath can light the flame by kindling the altars of despair and rapture which feed the flame. Alas, we hold only the altar of rapture. The treacherous mask can hold the altar of despair. We must control both to light the flame. If you help us seize the altar of despair from the Maskin, I will be honored to kindle the flame of Agnon for my lord Sheo Gorath. Okay, battle plans. The only way to assault the altar of despair is down the main passage between the two altars. It will be difficult. The Maskin have fortified their position, but I am confident that with your help, we can defeat them. Or you could go through Will the understeep. Will you help us retake the altar of despair? Sure, but use the understeep. Very good. At no! Oh, I picked the wrong option. No. Oh, wow. I knocked the joystick with my thumb and it made it all go, woo! Okay, we're going to skip through this and do it right this time. This is... Shut up. Shut up. Use the understeep. Are all males so obstinate? Hey! Have I not already told you that I consider that route too risky? What makes you think you can persuade me when my own lieutenant cannot? The Understeep is lightly defended. You've seen this with your own eyes? I must be sure it isn't a trap if I'm to take such a risk. It's not a trap. Merrill was very convincing as well. Very well. We'll risk it. The Underdeep it is. Yay. Shame. Shame. Let's do this. Down with the Maskin. Let's do this. It's going to be some intense fighting. Turn it down slightly, because otherwise it's going to get way too loud. Death. Death to the Maskin and... Where else we don't like. Charge! Even with 100% speed, I can't keep up with them. They're just so fast. Whee! Gang up on them! Oh, wow. She just got crushed. This is fun just to watch. Hey! Watch it, Missy. Tough little buggers, aren't they? Yeah, Dark Seducers do are quite tough, but still. Oh god, I've lost them. I've lost them! Come back! Don't fight without me. You can't win without me. Actually, you probably can win without me, but still, you won't win without me. Or my Dramora ally. <laughs> oh crap, the battle's already in full force. Come, Dramora! Oh, you didn't. <gasps> My Jamora! Leave him alone! Yeah. Get out of my face, I'm fighting here. <laughs> 
Claimed your life has been. Come back, you coward! The dark seducers are vanquished. <laughs> uh. Victory is ours. I have already selected a candidate for the honor of kindling the altar of rapture. I will now claim the honor of victory for myself here on the altar of despair. Yeah, take the honor of victory for yourself. Great, great, get on with it. Not at all. It was an honor to carry out such an agreeable duty at the personal command of Lord Sheogorath's personal emissary. Now, it is my even greater honor to die in my lord's service. Farewell. Not that big of a deal, actually, because once they die, they just come back. Daedra are immortal. They cannot die. She healed herself, and then she stabbed herself. Like, let me heal myself. Okay, now I'm gonna stab myself through the stomach. Psst, uh, 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 uh. Bloody hell. That's gotta hurt. Can you loot these things? Oh, <gasps> You can. Is there anything worth taking, even? Not really. There's nothing worth taking. God damn it. Screw it. I thought that was funny of the, the saint commander. She's supposed to sacrifice herself, so she heals herself up and then she stabs herself through the torso. I just thought that was kind of funny. Oh god, it's gonna make me go through this again, isn't it? This is ever so slightly annoying. Whee! I have nothing interesting to say. Come on. Hurry up. Jump up the stairs. <laughs> and open the door while I'm still flying through the air. Zealots are fanatical believers in the cult of Sheogorth. Blah, 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 blah. He just, she just. Bloody hell, you just killed her? She just dropped dead. <gasps> the Torch of Agnon. So. How do we uh, take this flame, you might ask? Oh, God. I'm burning. Oh, Jesus, I'm burning. Yes, I am on fire. I will light in the great flame of Agnon, and I will return shortly. We are here in the Sasellum Arden Sul, basically, the great chapel of the Shivering Isles. Uh, goal things in the Shivering Isles, it is divided between Mania and Dementia. And it actually looks and feels like I'm getting third degree burns! So... <laughs> you basically have to talk to both of them, then you decide who to side with. You've brought it! The holy flame of Agnon, the fire of inspiration and rapture! If you light the great torch on the Mania side of the Sasselm, you will be a hero to the people of Bliss, I assure you. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and write it for, uh, light it for you guys, yeah. I knew I saw the glint of true mania in your eyes, my child. So now the firewall drops, the fire gate, the portcullis. And now, light the torch! The great torch burns brightly over new mania. Hey, look who it is. How you doing, Sheogorath? How you gonna piss me off now? Aren't you off to a good start? That's important for me. Really, your work is gonna save me a lot of time. Save you time? The Grey March is upon us. And the ordering begins. Armies of order, sweep my realm. Death, destruction. Then I have to pick up the pieces. And there are always lots of pieces. I don't 
don't like it. Having to rebuild my realm every era. Sometimes I forget where things go. Like Lucia. I can never remember where it belongs. You'll change that. Break the cycle. You'll stop Jigalad. And I'll have my realm to come back to. I've never actually tried that before. Stop the Grey March? Why not? Something has to work. Once... I dug a pit and filled it with clouds. Or was it clowns? It doesn't matter, it didn't slow him down. <laughs> to be honest, it wasn't the best idea. And it really began to smell. <gasps> Must have been clowns. Clouds don't smell bad. They taste of butter and tears. But this is all new. A fresh idea. Something I hadn't thought of until I did. It sure to work, even though it might not. Everything you say contradicts itself, and I love it. Except for when I don't. Now, you'll need the respect of my citizens. They'll need a leader, someone to look up to when I'm gone. They're the backbone of any great land. Except where the backbone is an actual backbone. Ever been to Malakoth's realm? Nasty stuff. But back to the business at hand. You'll need to control one of the carts of madness. Replace a current duke. Or duchess. Whichever. That will command respect. The people will rally around you. You'll have their love, their admiration, their complaints. Whatever. As long as it keeps them on our side. And the Dukes won't be pleased, will they? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Absolutely not. Well, yes, absolutely. Bit of a shame for them. But sometimes you need to break a few eggs or skulls. There are rules, though, even in the Isles. Rituals and rules. You need to follow them. Speak to Artis and Ervenon. The High Priest at the Sasellum Arden Sul. They can explain what needs to be done. And you've always got her man Haskell to call on for help. Faithful, like a good hound, that one. And he looks better in a suit. Hey, I look pretty good in a suit, too, you know. Ah, come visit again! Or out! Look out your eyes! <laughs> Alrighty, this has been a good little, uh, test. I'm hoping that this is going to work out all right. This footage should come through, and if it does, I will upload it. And you will have already watched it, so it doesn't matter. And Shergoth just walked over the stool, which is awesome. Hopefully, this works, and if so, I'll keep up. I'll keep uploading Oblivion in accordance with the rest of my LP schedule, and we'll see how this works. I'll see you next time.